Welcome to WinGem TFT. Today, we are going to go through a Bruiser gameplay. And in this video, I will try to share details about champion selection, champion placement, and item prioritization related to Bruisers. The augment we received from the voting round is Finn's Market. It will grant us a Radiant Item Anvil at round 2 6 and a completed Item Anvil at round for 1. The legend I have selected for this game is URF. URF will grant us one or more emblems at round to one, therefore, we cannot decide our team prior to that. Ancient Archives 1, I'm going to gain one Tome of Traits. And three gold from that, the Tome of Traits grants us a selection of four emblems when sold. Here, none of the four emblems match with the tier three champions I have. I will take the Bruiser emblem, as it matches with Shagath, and I will try to find a 3-star Chugath quickly. With 2 Bruiser Champions. Bruiser's health will be increased by 10%, with 4 Bruisers, their health will be increased by 45%, and with 6 Bruisers, it will be increased by 80%. In this patch, Sijuani is the champion with the highest health. A 3-star Sijuani has 3560 for health without any items, with 3 tank items. Her health will increase to approximately 4750. With 2 bruisers, the health gain is 476, resulting in a maximum health of 5240. With 4 bruisers, the health gain is 2144, leading to a maximum health of 6908. With 6 bruisers, the health gain is 3,811, resulting in a maximum health of 8,575. With only two bruisers, we do not get any stats that can imply a considerable impact on our game. Therefore, when I am building a team with bruisers, I always aim for teams with four or six bruisers. Also, I'm playing this game with the legend URF. He does not grant augments that scale along with the game rounds. Therefore, I need to complete my team quickly and focus on finishing the game promptly. This is the team I am thinking about. I do not want to include many higher tier champions as I need to end this game quickly. Chugath already has 1800 health thanks to his stacks. And we can expect him to reach around 8000 health. Therefore, he will serve as the main tank in our team. Furthermore, since we are building a bruiser team, we don't need to worry about our team's tankiness. We cannot expect to find Sion in the early levels. Therefore, until I find Sion, I can use VI to fill his position since she also has bruiser traits. Impenetrable bulwark consists of one bramble vest, one dragon's claw, and one giant's belt, which means it grants us five components. The giant grab bag provides three components, four gold, and a lesser champion duplicator. Since I'm looking to get a 3-star Chugath, one lesser champion duplicator is worth more than two components. Therefore, I am choosing the giant grab bag. When we are building items, we need to prioritize items for Chugath, because we want Chugath to collect as many stacks as possible. Chugath needs one Bramble Vest, and he already has one. Initially, I wanted him to have a Dragon's Claw but I have replaced it with a Kovalin Spark. The last item we need for him is Warmog's Armor, which requires two Giant's Belts to build. We already have one Giant's Belt. We only need one more Giant's Belt to complete his items, and here I am taking it. Without any items, 3-star Chugat has only 2,268 health, which is considerably less than other Bruiser Champions. However, with stacks, he can reach an even higher health pool than Sijuani. This means that without stacks, Chugath is one of the weakest bruiser champions, but with stacks, he can become the strongest bruiser champion. If we want Chugath to serve as a tank on our team, we need him to stack quickly by completing his items and getting a 3-star Chugath quickly.
URF's grab bag provides us with two components. A champion duplicator and a spatula. I'm choosing it primarily for the champion duplicator, which I can use to make Cho'Gath a 3-star champion. In this game, at round for 3, we achieved a 3-star Chugath. However, finding a 3-star Chugath before round 3-6 is preferable. Now, our priority is to concentrate on building items for Azir. Here, I picked up the needlessly large rod. I need two of them, one to build the jeweled gauntlet for Azir, and the other to create the Morellanomicon for Silco. The Morellanomicon is a core item for Silco. Now we have a strong team, and this team can survive few more rounds. We need to reach level 8 with extra gold we have. This will give us a good chance to find Sion and complete our team. At round 5-3, we have reached level 8. Now we can spend our gold to find champion copy we need and strengthen our team with URF. I do not want to reach level 9. I'm selecting Rek'Sai primarily for the champion copy, which will make her a 2-star champion. Additionally, I can equip Hand of Justice on my 3-star Maul's heart. In this game, I could not find all the items I mentioned at the start of the video. This is not only due to my bad luck but also because of a few mistakes I have made. We cannot expect every game to be perfect. What we can do is play our best with the resources we have now. Now, our priority is to quickly find a Shin and make him 2-star. Additionally, I'll be working towards achieving a 3-star Azir. Archogath currently has 7,728 health. He heals for 78 per second with Cobal and Spark. Therefore, in a 20-second fight, he will heal for 1,560 which means that enemies need to deal around 9.3k damage to him to kill him. Here, we have found our 3 stars here. We are on track to win this game, even without perfect items. This composition is strong for winning ranked games, but finding a 3-star Chugath in the early stages is crucial. I'm eager to improve my videos through your feedbacks. So please feel free to leave your comments and suggestions. I truly appreciate your support and input in making my content better. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you play better. If you enjoyed the video, please like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Yes,